Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. We took a little break yesterday um, with our Shabby Dabby Duda hashtag Shabby Dabby Duda project. I'm um, really happy with the way that turned out. And today I'm back with the creating a new story with the Hello Goodbye window children's book images and where this is where we left off we 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 think we decided that there's going to be three pages to our little mini little mini story our little mini book and it's going to be three pockets with a front and a back page two is a front and a back and page three is a nighttime casa grande with a front and the back and trying to figure out how to connect them, I think I've come up with an idea. I think if we hinge them together, so I would need a hinge here. How many would we need? Two hinges. We would only need two hinges. Hinge them the first and second page together and the second and third page together. And then there's all the scraps. We might try to find something to do with the scraps, but one thing that we can start with is using the scraps for the hinges. One that'll do. Use this one. I'm going to put the hinges on the inside of the uh, pocket so they're kind of hidden. First of all, let's get it the right height. Where's the blue scissors? Here they are. this in half. I'm not measuring. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be perfectly imperfect. So to make our hinges, we'll fold them in half. I haven't tried this out, so I'm hoping that what I'm envisioning will work. I don't think I need it at first on the front page, probably the back page of, of page number one and the front page of page number two. If I hinge the two of those together. Let's make this a little bit shorter so it doesn't peek through. We don't want any peeking. Okay. I put a little H on all the sides that would get the hinging so I don't get confused. I want them all on the left hand side. So HH, make sure I have them all laid out right. HH. HH. Okay. All right. So the back page of page one and the front page of page two. Right. Does this make sense to everybody else? Hinge them together. 
Maybe I won't hinge them all the way to the end of the hinge. Let's see. So that there's room for it to open and close. Ensure the peaking just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, if we put the hinge on the outside, it'll cover up too much of the of the page. So I figured we would just hinge from the inside. is kind of shiny so maybe I should put a little Alleen's on there and not count strictly on the on the glue stick This is the, the two pages that are getting hinged together. Wait, 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 wait. Don't confuse me. Okay. So like this. I don't think I'm going to put it all the way to the fold. So it doesn't bind up. It gives it enough room to open and close. All right. So these two would be together. And this is going to hinge together right there. Again, I have not tried this. This is just a concept at this point. Hopefully, it works out just fine. I think I like the hinge. I like the paper. It's nice and um, nice and thick, so it should work out well for the hinge. And if I leave just a little gap. Should have plenty of room to open and close. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Chuck comes in handy for a lot of different things. and it might work. And then we'll just, when we glue those two together to become a pocket, they'll be page one. These two together to make the pocket, they'll be page two. All right, good. I think it's good. All right, and now this page. All right, so these two need to go together. This will be the 
back page of that. So the back page of that one and the front page of this one need to go together. All right. The H is both on the same side. We trimmed off just a little tiny bit more on that one and it came out just right, I think. All right, fingers crossed that that this is right. So it'll be that good there, and that glued there. And in theory, we should have a little book. So it's going to get glued. There's my H. It's going to get glued there. Which is here. to the crease. So that's the back of page two. This is the front of page three. even glue still very slippery it's moving around a little bit okay Okay, and the glue should just peel off of chalk later once it dries. Okay, we're going to wait for the glue to dry, and then we're going to glue the three pages together. what we'll have. We'll have, we'll glue these together. That'll be a pocket there. 
glue these two together. It'll be a pocket there. And these two together. It'll have page three, a pocket there. All right, I think, I, th I think we have it. All right, let's wait for the glue to dry a little bit. Okay, and the glue is dry enough, I think, for us to work with our pages. Let's put the glue on the single page that's, that's getting uh, added. This is the hinge side, so this, I usually put my thumb in the area on the edge that is not getting glued, so I don't get it wrong. and that's page number one. Page number two. This is the side that is not getting glue. We have two pages, two pockets, and the third one. This is the sign that's not getting glued. Let's keep our thumb there. That's a Gail Augustinelli thing. Keep your thumb. And I know that Gail didn't invent that, but that's where I got inspired to keep my thumb on the side that's not being glued down. All we're doing in this community with this with this art kind of this kind of art project is recycling ideas that people have been using for ages and i don't think anybody should be out there feeling like they invented the theory because with all the years that it's been being done obviously someone else has come before you and that's fine that's what we're doing we're recycling the ideas 
However, our inspiration comes from people who we see. There might be 10 people doing it besides Gail, but Gail's the one that I see doing it, the one that I hear saying it every time. So to me, she is my inspiration for keeping your thumb in the area that doesn't get glued down. And I think it's great that that uh, that we have folks out there to offer us inspiration. This is a very nice little community that we're in. The junk journaling community. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And maybe we'll just put a little strip here. Um, not right now, but after everything dries, a little strip to, to hide the spine or not. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And um, all that will be left now after it dries is to add that little strip if we want to for a spine and to stuff the envelope. I think I, I went on to um, Procreate to, I was gonna type in, I was gonna you know figure out the words like this is harmonica or abuelo playing the harmonica and I was going to mm, Google how to say it in Spanish and type it in and put a little uh, tag here but I think have it, you know, the way that this artist did his drawing, I think it's just calling out for it to be um, written, handwritten on there. So I may just use like a black permanent India ink pen, like a um, Faber-Castillo or um, a pen like that and handwrite the little things for my story. This is um, Abuela, Abuelo and Abuela. And this is Mom and Dad. How do you say Mom and Dad in Spanish? I'm gonna Google it. So I'm gonna have to take Google's word for it unless somebody actually spells it out for me down there in the comments. Mommy and Daddy, Mommy and Puppy. I don't know how you say it, but I'm going to look it up. These two, this is the fun in the hose. Look at her, look at her. this is so funny to me. Grandpa chasing her with the water hose. It's like my um, my pup pup Chi Chi. Chi Chi loves, she, it's a love hate thing with her and the water hose. She wants to be sprayed. She loves to be sprayed. She loves the water, but then she'll always run from it. It's so cute. It's so cute, my polka dotted puppy. Isn't it amazing how much we love our pets? <laughs> All right, this, and then this one I think is her sleeping. And this is mom and dad picking her up. Very nice. All right, pockets will get stuffed with, the, with these things. All right, I think that's gonna do it for me today. I appreciate all of you stopping by and keeping me company. It's so much more fun in the art room when I have you here with me. And I will say goodbye for now, and I will see you real soon.